Salam everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, you are always welcome. And as you can tell by the title, today I'm very, very, very excited to share with you guys something a little bit special, something close to my heart. These are my top 10 most favorite spring slash summer perfumes so i'm just going to be taking you through my collection and kind of explaining everything in detail a little bit and as you may know or you may not know mother's day is right around the corner so this will be a really really great video for you if you plan on purchasing perfume for yourself or for someone else so make sure you watch this video because i guarantee you will love all of these So I quickly want to mention that before we begin, I bought all of these fragrances from Macy's and a lot of these are actually very new. And so I'm going to put the Macy's link in the description box below so you guys can also check their website out and hopefully purchase some of your own. And as you can see, I have my lovely decor here, so beautiful. I'm going to jump in really quickly to mention that I do have a little surprise for you at the end of this video. Please stay tuned until the very end so you can get an exclusive sneak peek at my next video. So I'm starting off strong with definitely one of my top three favorite perfumes of all time, a perfume that I feel like every woman should definitely own, and this is Alien by Mugler, definitely a classic, and it gives me very positive energy when I wear it, and it, you know, has hints of floral and woody and amber tones. So just keep that in mind. If you are buying these perfumes for yourself or for someone else, I will be kind of going into detail a little bit about how they make me feel and the different tones so that you can get, you know, a better view of what they are. And this is, of course, the beautiful Tiffany & Co. Love the packaging. This is actually the love collection for her and you know it has the lotion as well as the spray and it is a very floral slash woody tone and you know it has very feminine energy. So when I wear it it's very feminine and I just feel light. On to the wonderful La Via Belle and this one is kind of like spring floral slash patchouli slash sugar and warm vanilla and some iris so it's you know a teeny bit flower toned but also very warm vanilla very warm kind of feeling you can tell by the dark color as well and it also comes with you know body lotion as well this perfume definitely makes me feel elegant sophisticated but also very soft Now moving on to one of my favorite scents and I'll tell you why. This is Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue and the reason why I love this is because it's so different from the other perfumes that I've showed you. It is very light and casual and breezy and you know hints of fruity and floral with lime and cedar and right next to it I actually have Angel by Mugler which it has some patchouli, vanilla, caramel, cotton candy, delicious, fun. That's just kind of the vibe I get from it. It's two different scents completely but I pair them together because I think they work well together. Now we're moving on to Good Girl by Carolina Herrera and this one is very bright and feminine. When I wear it that's just how I feel. This is also definitely another classic. I feel like everybody should definitely own this as well and it has hints of jasmine, cocoa, tonka, and almond so very dark notes and then over here we have Perry Ellis for women, which kind of has floral fruity tones with apple, plum, mandarin, and jasmine. And Calvin Klein Euphoria, which is also another one of my favorites, which is kind of exotic and seductive with fruity and floral scents such as orchid, lotus, vanilla, amber, and such. So as I'm taking a closer look at this, I just want to let you guys know that two scents, you know, are just popping up a lot in all of these perfumes, which is jasmine and patchouli, so you will be hearing me say that a lot.
So now we've moved on to the right side where we have another list of perfumes and we're starting off strong again with this Coco Mademoiselle which is definitely an all hit for everybody. Right here I actually have the Coco Chanel, just the original, which is actually very strong in confidence vibes. It's kind of what I get when I wear it. I've had this for a long time. It was actually launched in 84, so that's why it's pretty much done. Not because I bought it then, but I've just definitely worn it a lot of times. And over here we have the Coco Mademoiselle, which is bright and warm and it has amber and floral tones with some orange, grapefruit, rose, vanilla, and jasmine and such. And the Coco just Chanel one just has some rose, coriander, peach, mimosa, vanilla, and amber. So beautiful, beautiful, beautiful scents. This is definitely something you must, must have. And if you're purchasing for someone, definitely going to be very strong. And again, over here, I have my Tiffany & Co. Basically, same thing as the other side, so I'm not going to do too much of a run-through, but I just want to mention that I also have a For Him shower gel that was also included in this kit. I thought that was really fun. And we're moving on to Miss Dior lotion and perfume set. This one is very sensual, bold, and floral, and it has hints of rosewood and blood orange and mandarin. And this is just very, you know, rose petal. That's just the immediate scent that you get. It's very rosy. It's actually mixed with two different types of rose grass and damascus rose i believe i'm not sure i pronounced it right but you know you can always just search it up but it's just a very much rose and florally scent but it's really really pretty so i do want to mention because i love adorable packaging i love how this just came with also a cute little mini perfume bottle that that was very adorable and i also just love the size i think it's just a really great size over here we have Gorgeous by Michael Kors, also have the lotion included, and this is a very feminine and, you know, very confident type of perfume. That's just the vibe that you'll get from this perfume, and it's sweet and creamy, jasmine, cedar, lily, definitely kind of those types of tones from this, and, you know, it's not as unique as, you know, other perfumes, but I do like this scent because it's a bit different. That's why I'm just so happy with this collection because I think that's what summer and spring is definitely about. It's about standing out, having fun, being bold, being more playful, being more fun and different. So moving on, I actually have this Flower Bomb by Victor and Ralph. This is number one for me, and this is what I believe everybody should definitely have number one from top three. And it is very sweet and floral, and it has some jasmine and rose and vanilla, just definitely the most gorgeous, most beautiful, authentic scent I've ever had in a while. And this is Eternity for Women by Calvin Klein, and this is very fruity, and it has some rose, citrus, spices, and some woody amber. This could be a hit or miss for some people because it is a very powerful and vibrant scent, so not everyone may like it. It might not be everybody's cup of tea, but it's definitely different for sure. Um, you know, maybe try out some samples before purchasing, but I love these two scents so, so much. And last but not least on this side, we have the Viva La Juicy by the Juicy Contour. And this one is very fun. I like this one because it's flirty, it's charming, it's glamorous. Definitely for, you know, your younger women. But, you know, who is to say that older women can't use this perfume as well? This one is a mix of wild berries, mandarin, vanilla, jasmine, and honeysuckle. So already by these scents, you can tell this is definitely a more fun, you know, vibrant kind of party girl type of scent and this definitely screams summer just you know try this out if you haven't tried this already also you know can't forget this gorgeous packaging as well
And now what you guys are going to see next is just a quick little preview of just some boxes of the perfume that I own, such as the Chanel Coco, Tiffany & Co, Dior, some more Chanel, I have lots and lots of Chanel, and the Michael Kors Gorgeous, and of course some more little samples that are just paired right next to it. And that's actually my favorite part of the perfume shopping experience is that they let you go home with, you know, a bag full of samples. That's just my favorite favorite part Okay, so finally we're moving on to my little display over here. I have here one of my favorite perfumes of all time. This is very special to me. As you can see, I've already finished the one in the back and I put this over here also because, you know, it just matched the gold display. But this is the one and only Rebel Fleur by Rihanna. This one is very intense and daring. It's a very daring scent and it also is very sophisticated but you know it's mixed with some fruity and floral scents such as violet hibiscus and a splash of coconut water i know very very intriguing right but it packaging looks beautiful i love it and it's also just a very warm toned scent and i think it's really really great for the spring also for nighttime as well and over here i just have some more mini samples i have the burberry for her i have donna i have some gucci some coco chanel just have lots of samples i thought they were very cute to just to place over here i don't know if you guys can see but you see that versace it is the most gorgeous packaging and it is a sample, I know, but this is very summer vibes. And as you can see, I'm definitely showing off my Hello Gorgeous tray because hello, whoever you guys are watching, you are gorgeous and always remember that. Alright you guys, thank you so much for watching. That definitely concludes the end of this video. My top 10 favorite perfumes for spring and summer. Perfumes that hopefully you guys, you know, got more insight on. Hopefully, you know, this was a bit informational and you got to learn a little bit more about the scents and just the vibe and the energy that they give. But keep in mind, this is not, you know, a professional review. I'm in no way, shape, or form, you know, master at this so definitely do some more research before purchasing but if you did like this video please make sure to give it a like comment please share and subscribe and hopefully you guys you know end up purchasing this for mother's day or just for whenever day because these are just amazing perfumes that i feel like you guys should have and i just can't wait for you guys to watch my next video i will give you a sneak peek right now it is going to be another Mother's Day video, but it will be dedicated to lotions. So I can't wait for you guys to watch, and I'll see you then. Ciao!